right, so welcome to part two of the polar decomposition theorem. So in the last clip, um, so now remember, we, we need to find a, a, an isometry uh, on V that has the property that T factors into it times root T star T. And in the last clip, we defined, uh, an, we defined an operator on this subspace of V and showed that it is an isometry and that um, it satisfies this equation right here, which is what we need in order for this factorization to be correct. Now, the only thing about this is that we need something defined on all of V, and so far we only have it defined on this subspace range of the root operator here. So, in this clip, we're going to define an operator on the orthogonal complement of this part, uh, and then in the third one, we're going to put it together so that we get an operator that's defined everywhere. And then we just have to make sure that, that when we do that, um, things work out nicely. So let's see. Um, uh, in the last clip, we saw that the uh, dimension of the range of root t star t is equal to the dimension of the range of whoop, t. Um, so if we take um, that same expression and look at the orthogonal complements, then since we're in a finite dimensional space, we'll have that the dimensions of the orthogonal complements are also equal. And so this was by um, uh, 650. Okay, so since they both have the same dimension, then we can find orthonormal bases uh, E1 through EM uh, of the first and F1 through Fm of the second, uh, where crucially both have the same length. Uh, so in other words, uh, I'm just um, emphasizing the fact that the m here and the m here are the same. and that's important because what we want to do is match them up to define our next operator. So define S2 from the range of the root perp to the range of T perp um, by just sending orthonormal basis elements from one to orthonormal basis elements of the other. Okay, and then again, extending by linearity, that'll do it for us, right? Uh, and also, since we're taking an orthonormal basis to an orthonormal basis, um, S2 is an isometry. By some theorem we proved uh, once upon a time, uh, shoot, when, there we go, 742. Okay, now, let's see. Okay, so things are, are looking pretty good. Um, and now we just have to uh, combine the S1 operator and the S2 operator together. So the, the what we're looking at is we're, we're using the idea, now this is actually not part of the proof, so let me just sort of, uh, here, I'll do it in purple. So V is range of T star T direct sum range of T star T perp. Um, by our orthogonal decomp uh, decomposition theorem. 
And so now we've got um, S1 mapping this to range of T, and we've got S2 mapping this to uh, range T perp. Um, and so now what we need to do basically is say if we take the operator S1 direct sum S2, and you're like, what does that even mean? Well, pretend you know what it means. Um, means that I'm just gonna uh, define um, what the full operator is, S, in terms of how it acts on a component from the first direct sum end and how it acts on, on, the, as a, on the component from the second uh, direct sum end. Okay, we'll do that in the next clip.